you've kept up with Hawaii Athletics, you may recognize me. But if not, I'm Keeling Fukushima, and this is your Rainbow Roundup. We start with a team that you need to keep your eye on this spring, UH Track and Field. The Rainbow Hine are preparing to lay claim as an up-and-coming squad in the Big West, turning numerous big-time performances over the weekend at both the Stanford Invitational and the Mike Finnell Track Classic. Relays in the 4x100 and the 4x400 accounted for new times in the record book, highlighted by several standouts, including Kristen Lacoste, Amy Warrington, and Alyssa May Antolin. On the field side of things, Kate Forrest made a name for herself, placing second in the hammer throw, while Hallie Lehman finished fourth in the same event. The Rainbow Ahine have two weeks until they're on the road again for the Brian Clay Invitational, where they look to continue their momentum. Your Rainbow Wahine water polo team dominated UC San Diego 15-6 on senior night this past Friday. One of the four seniors, Elise LeMay Lavoy, ended her night with four goals, marking her eighth match with three or more goals on the season. While Molly Dalala, another senior, added a season high of 13 saves, allowing just six goals on 27 shots. The Bows hit the road for their last two conference matches with UC Irvine on Friday and Long Beach State on Sunday. The beach volleyball team played six matches in total over the weekend, including the Mapes Beach Invitational and the UCLA Invitational. Going against some of the best competition over the two tournaments, UH went 2-4, and four, picking up two wins against Florida International and Utah on Saturday, putting their record at 17-10 for the season. The Beach Bros will host Loyola Marymount and Grand Canyon this weekend at the team complex where they'll face each team twice over a two-day stretch. Now, softball. They came away with a series win against UC San Diego, taking away two wins in a doubleheader on Saturday. In game one, the Bows banged out 15 hits in a 13-1, mercy-shortened, five-inning game, then outlasted the Tritons in a 1-0, eight-innings battle. Dallas Millwood played the role of hero as she launched a home run in the eighth, followed by Brianna Lopez closing out with a complete game. Melwood and Lopez return home this weekend with the Bows to take on Cal Poly, beginning with a doubleheader on Friday, beginning at 4 p.m. Hawaii time. Men's volleyball battled on the road but fell short to Long Beach State both on Friday and Saturday, 3-1. Next, the Rainbow Warriors will host UC Santa Barbara on April 8th and 9th in Simplify Arena at the Stan Sheriff Center. After two losses on Friday and Saturday at UC Santa Barbara, the Hawaii Electric Company made their comeback on Sunday with a 13-9 win in extra innings. It was a close game throughout, but it wasn't until the 13th inning that UH found success and captured the win. Kyson Donahue and Aaron Ujimori led the weekend with six hits each, while Donahue added his second homer of the year. The Rainbow Warriors will have a non-conference matchup today against USC. First pitch is scheduled for 3 p.m. Hawaii time. Shout out to Sailing for claiming the PCCSC North Regatta. And just a reminder, football has Island Day in two weeks on April 16th. With that being said, I'm Kelly Fukushima, and this has been your Rainbow Roundup. Have a good week!